before the video gets started, I'm not going to tell you that I butchered this brisket, but on its own without any extra barbecue sauce or seasoning after the fact that I was done, it didn't have a ton of flavor and I think I know why. So first thing is the rub I used was not something I traditionally use and what I would suggest using, let me show you guys here, this Rudy's rub is really really good rub and obviously Rudy's is popular for their barbecue food anyway so this is a really good rub that I've used on my brisket before it's got a little bit of a kick to it but not to where it's unpleasing to your taste buds second I would inject my meat with something like this you can get your your marinade and kind of inject your meat around the uh, entire piece of it and this Dale's steak seasoning is actually really good it's got like a soy sauce taste to it which is interesting, um, something I really haven't tasted before, but that's really good as well. I wish I would have probed my meat with this and had a different rub. I do have Rudy's rub in my cabinet, but I'm saving it for uh, my smoke tonight for the 4th of July because I'm cooking for like, I don't know, over 10 people tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure I knew what it was gonna taste like tomorrow. This one was kind of like an interesting test, but that's what cooking is about, guys. So another thing I didn't do that I usually do is after I smoke my brisket for the first three to four hours, I would put it in a pan with about half and half um, a water mixture and Dale's. I would put it in my pan and then I'd put my brisket inside that meat or inside that meat, <laughs> inside that juice and then wrap it with foil and put it on my gas side for the, you know, the long race of a temperature. Um, you can also wrap it in butcher paper, which I haven't done yet, this red butcher paper. So that's another thing I'd like to try in the future, but the thing with cooking is you're never going to have the same outcome exactly the same two times in a row. Point of this video is, so the smoking went great. It's just in terms of flavor without any additives after the fact, wasn't great. It was still edible, super tender. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy the video and just get out there and try new things. Thanks for watching. My second brisket and what I've been told is you can cook it fat side up or fat side down but I've always had I say always I've only had success fat side down so we're just gonna go with what we know push it a little bit in the center there we do have a cup of water back there for moisture so we're gonna keep this around 250 until we reach an internal temp of 160 degrees and then we're going to wrap it in some foil and some juices and then that begins the long long run so it's 1 30 in the morning i'm having a hard time getting up to 250 but we're about 225 i'm not going to open my smoke side because if you're looking you ain't cooking but the fire's going i just can't get up to 250 we'll keep trying though I'll see you guys in two hours. It's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I've been having trouble holding 250 today for whatever reason. I mean, our fire's going. Give a little peek. Fire's going. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys at about roughly three and a half hours. I, uh, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. I'm gonna give you guys a peek. At roughly three and a half hours, ooh, I came out here. I actually um, took a nap for an hour, and my fire was almost out. So you don't want to do that. Now I'm no expert at smoking, but I think I'm gonna give it a temperature check here, and I'm gonna do it real quick off camera and see if we're close to 160, so we can wrap it in some foil. I know I'm not giving you guys a lot to look at, but I got an internal temp of 145 degrees Fahrenheit on my brisket just now. So I'll give it another half hour and then we'll come out here and wrap it. We're pretty close to 160. I'm just gonna let the rest of this burn off and then we'll be good to go. Now we're just about ready to wrap our brisket. So I'm gonna get my little mixture here, roughly two parts beer 
and one part of this Dale's steak seasoning. Like I said, it's got an interesting, almost like soy sauce taste, which is pretty, um, pretty strong if you guys actually get it and try it out. So we're gonna give this a little mix a roo. So it's about time we wrap it. I'm gonna actually get a temperature here. Try to eyeball the center of the meat. We should be right around 160, I'm hoping. We're climbing. Um, okay, 150, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it, we're close. Holy. Mother of brisket. She's jiggling around in there, mm-hmm. Okay. Truth be told, I kind of uh, ran out of aluminum foil. That's the perks of cooking at midnight. So this piece isn't the longest. Here on the edge. I'm actually gonna probably end up putting it in a pan. So I'm gonna try to seal this up as well as I can with this first piece of foil. And we're gonna take this for moisture purposes. Get it all in there. What the hell is that? So I do not have enough foil as I would have liked. And I'll admit that, I kind of messed up there. So, we're gonna try to grab this brisket and not spill everything we just did. We'll be all right guys, we'll be all right. Now the awesome thing about my grill is now I'm gonna put it on my gas side. I only have my far right burner on low heat and this is gonna keep us, because I've done this before, actually right around 250, 275 with it on low burner. So I'm gonna keep it here whew, for another four hours and then check it until we're at an internal temp of about mm, almost 200 it could take longer but i'll keep you guys updated so until it's done it's going to be sitting in here on low heat in the foil with our juices all right guys now that i'm inside a quick recap so far um i was having a tough time holding it at 250 and i did take a nap for an hour and i came out and my temperature was about uh 150 so you don't really want to go below 200 um in this scenario but we had four hours of smoke your meat's not going to take any more than that that's like the max uh, you can smoke it so we got to 150 internal temp on the thickest part of the meat so i just figured it was a good time to put it on my gas side wrapped up in my foil um with that mixture that i used with that dales now you can use two parts water and like one part of that dales um marinade I, I used beer just because I had one left and I figured I might as well put it to good use and not drink it. I know, it's crazy. So we're gonna let that sit on there. Um, it, it's kind of like um, putting it on a crock pot now. When it's on that gas side, I, I kind of set it and forget it for about three hours. I'll go check in roughly three hours. It'll be around eight o'clock a.m. It's 5 a.m. right now. So I put it on at 12.30. Um, switched it over around 4.30, 4.35 in the morning. And I'll check it in about two or three hours and uh, see where our temperature's at and see how it's looking. So we'll see you then. Well, the boys just ate their breakfast. Apollo, hey, hey, what are you guys doing? You got your ball? Yeah. So it's seven in the morning. You can see some juice. In our pan, I'm gonna get my gloves on first. See what we're working with. Oh yeah. Still got some, some juice in there. Just because I'm paranoid. 
I put the rest of my cup in there. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep it going. I kinda wanna see what we're at for temperature here. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick it with my thermometer and tell you what we got so far. So we're almost at seven hours here. It went in pretty effortlessly. Looking for around 200. We're looking like we're at 165. I might turn up the heat just a little bit. We won't need a lot. We were sitting at 245. So I'll do that. Come back in about two hours and see where we're at. So pick up the heat a little bit and we'll be good. Boys! So what we're looking at here for a temp. 179. We're getting there, 180. It's almost exactly 11 hours as we put these on at 12.30 a.m. So we're going to probe this bad boy. I think it's going to be done. We're looking for... 195 200 somewhere in that range we should be there now this is the thickest part of my meat so i'm gonna pull it out halfway and our reading is come on baby come on baby i'd say we're fine 194 oh 195 there we go so we're gonna try to get this out and not make a mess put a towel in our cooler here and let it rest for an hour so, one more hour to let it rest, and then we can cut into this bad boy. So I almost dropped my brisket, but now we're just <laughs> we're just gonna wrap it in a towel here, shut the cooler, and in one hour we'll cut into this and see how we did. I think we did pretty well. It looks good, but I don't want to ruin the surprise yet. It looks good though. Our pan got a little dirty. Easy cleanup though. Easy cleanup. I know you've been smelling this since last night, Chip. It's almost done. Apollo, what do you have? You broke my light! Okay, so I did cook it fat side down. Oh, you guys are missing out, I'm telling you. For a brisket. Apollo, you better get... He, my dog's in between my legs. Over there. So I've watched quite a bit of barbecue videos on brisket. And what I've learned is this is called the flat and this is the point. What I've been shown is to start cutting the flat point. The flat cuts this way. Once you get about here, we're gonna flip the meat at 90 degrees and cut it the opposite way. So we wanna cut it roughly the width, let me turn this for you guys. The width of a pencil is what, um, is what they say. Now, my, my cuts might not be perfect because I don't do brisket all the time. This is only just from judging it. I mean, I haven't tasted a good piece yet. It seems a little stiff not too bad or maybe my knife's a little dull I need to sharpen it I'm trying to get us some pencil cuts here let's get you guys a I've always seen people do this on the internet a floppy test it's got some give to it you can see the smoke ring in here you see that pink ring that looks really good I don't I don't want to mess this up I gotta get a thumbnail guys that's half the battle so I am cooking one of these for the 4th of July as well. I'm actually starting to cut at an awkward angle. <laughs> I just realized oh, that's a big piece of brisket right there. So I haven't reached... the point yet as I don't see two layers of meat. That's when you'll know, you'll see like a... almost like a double stacked layer of meat. Once we get to it over here, I'm getting close, I'm sure. 
Look at this piece right here. Oh, she's floppy. Nice smoke ring on it. Yes. So just keep going till we see two layers of meat. And we're almost there, actually. This is what I was looking for here. Let me try to show you guys as I sneak a piece. Now we're at the point, as you can see these two layers, you can see the juice coming out. That's some fat coming out right there. So now we're gonna turn it 90 degree angle. Let me turn this for you here. And now we're gonna cut it this way. There's some fat. So now we're cutting the point and we did have to turn it to ensure we're going against the grain here. There's juice all over my cutting board right now. Oh man, I'm kind of excited. This is my first really big brisket that I've cooked. My first big brisket that I've cooked. Let's get you a piece here. So I totally forgot to keep talking about how long we cooked this. This is just falling apart. It's just, look at this. It's just falling apart. I gotta try some. I gotta try some of this. So we're gonna do the recap again because I really butchered it and got off topic. That's really good. Mm-hmm. I think we could use a little bit more flavor. What you can do is inject your meat with your marinade as well, which I didn't do last night. But you could inject it to get a little bit more flavoring within the meat. But I mean, it's got a nice smoky flavor. Nice smoke ring on it. And my knife's a little dull. We're gonna sharpen this before the 4th of July. Anyways, guys, that's how you smoke a brisket. Um, if you want to start out with something smaller, you can. This was a 13 pound brisket. Just get out there and try, guys. And with that being said, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. And y'all stay sweaty.